Boradar, Kroiso, good morning and welcome to our virtual presentation for the Health and Care Research Wales Conference 2020. In it, you'll find videos that give you an insight into who we are and what we do at the National Centre for Population Health and Wellbeing Research. Thank you for taking the time to watch. We hope you enjoy. We are the National Centre for Population Health and Wellbeing Research. We bring together leading researchers from Swansea, Cardiff and Bangor Universities and Public Health Wales to work alongside our partners. Funded by the Welsh Government through Health and Care Research Wales, we work on life course epidemiology to understand, evaluate and inform population health improvements. We support research into maternal health and well-being and early years, primary school interventions and community interventions with teenagers, chronic conditions, health challenges in at-risk groups, workplace health, health in rural communities. In supporting this research, our goal is to improve the health and well-being of the population. We undertake this by involving the public in our research to make it more relevant and find out what people think can help improve their health and well-being. These views help us to inform policy, practice and provision, leading to population health improvements, helping to promote healthier, happier lives. In our centre, we take a life course approach because quite often just getting a few things right early on can really tip other healthy behaviours. Healthy behaviours really cluster together and facilitate each other. For example, our work enabled teenagers to meet up and be active with their friends. This improved well-being, fitness, confidence, self-esteem, blood pressure, and we're looking in the future to see if it also helps do well in school. We look at pathways, for example, through the NHS, so we can see what treatment pathways are best at maintaining health as we grow older. Dear helps to identify the small things that really have a big effect on a person's future. Alongside aiming to understand challenges to the health and well-being of the population, we also respond to public health challenges as they arise. The COVID-19 pandemic is seen as will face the largest public health challenge in a generation. As we speak, colleagues, partners and collaborators of the centre are utilising their expertise and knowledge in population health, public health and healthcare to understand the pandemic. One example of this is the Happen Network, a project that we support that has been aiming to find out the effects of lockdown on young children by asking them their views. The following video tells us what they said. Hi everyone, so what do I think about lockdown? I actually really enjoy it, and that is because I get to be with my parents and my sister a lot, and we get to do things that we wouldn't normally do. Plus, I dye my hair purple. I've enjoyed being with my mum and dad, playing football. I'm missing my friends during the lockdown, and the park, and going to the cinema and having picnics on the beach. And it's a bit strange watching my monkey, Dickie, Granny and Bampy uh, in the window. And, but um, other than that, it's okay. I like lockdown because I don't have to wake up early for school and I don't have to go to school. But the reason I don't like lockdown is that I can't go to the tub shop, I can't go to my cousin's house and and I can't go outside. I like staying home with my family, but I miss my friends and teachers and I'm sad that my family can't come anymore because of the lockdown. I like lockdown because I don't have to go to school and I can play and watch cartoons. What's good about lockdown is that I get to spend more time with my mummy, I get to go on walks and I get to ride my bike. What's bad about lockdown is I don't get to see my family. I don't like lockdown because I would rather be with my friends doing fun stuff in school. I found it quite cool. You know, we've been going on walks nearly every single day. You can still stay in touch with family and friends. 
with you know your microphones on your PlayStation consoles and on the phone. I've been doing some schoolwork here. Yeah. Teachers have set us up some schoolwork, doing quite a lot of walks, as I said, and just watching a lot of TV, really. Or you know, probably feeling tired, bored. What do I not like about Corona? I don't get to see my family and I don't get to see my friends. I only get to face time. Bye bye, take care. Going forward, we will aim to understand the medium and long term effects and impact the pandemic will have on the population. The following video, Born in Wales, is a new project looking to understand the impact of COVID for expecting parents. I'm Charlotte Todd and I'm the Early Years Researcher at the Centre for Population Health. We are launching our new Born in Wales study and need your help. If you and your partner are having a baby, you can both help out by completing our quick survey about your work, health and wellbeing. This research will help us to find out how to best support families to give children the best start in life, what needs to be put in place to support healthy, happy children growing up in Wales. We are especially keen to hear from families where one of both parents have a health condition such as asthma, MS, arthritis or heart disease, or experience depression or anxiety. For more information, visit our website. The video shown is just some examples of the research we support and undertake. If you want to find out more about this research, please visit us at ncphwr.org.uk. Thank you for taking the time to watch our presentation. Goodbye.